Hey, hey, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the input and the output settings for your GT1000. Now remember that this is the same for both the GT1000 and the GT1000 core. When it comes to the input, you can save up to 10 different inputs for 10 different guitars. That is for the higher and the lower output pickups so that when the signal from your guitar comes in, you're gonna hit those effects correctly and you're gonna get the right response every time. So on the unit, you wanna press the menu button. You wanna come here to in and out settings. Firstly, we're gonna do the input. Toggle number one is the name select and you can select through all of your different guitars. That way you can see that I've assigned eight different guitars and I've got two slots left. Then of course, grab a guitar, plug it in and you just wanna strum nice and big. You don't have to play anything pretty but just for your own sanity, it's probably better if you do. So you can see there when I'm strumming that the level's hitting right up here on this last marker there. Watch again. So if I adjust that, let's bring the input level down. So this is what happens if it's lower. Now you can see there's not enough input coming in. Whereas if we go the other way and bring it up, this is now plus eight. It's hitting way too hot. So you wanna find that spot where it sits nice and happy. Once it's set, you then wanna give it a name. You can do that by simply pressing this little name toggle and then you can choose your name from there. If you do use multiple guitars with your unit, I recommend just grabbing all of them, going through them all, setting it all up, then it's done. You don't have to adjust it ever again. Then each time you change guitars, all you need to do is go back into that menu option, select the guitar you want and away you go. The output level is quite a bit simpler. You wanna come into your menu again, in out settings again, this time press main out. Output level, number three. And you can adjust it here by plus four or minus 10. The main output is the jack outputs on the unit. Now I found that I wasn't getting enough output for my interface, so I've put it to plus four. So if you're having the same problem, you don't have enough output, put it up to plus four. If you're getting too much output, then simply put it back down to minus 10. As always though, make sure that you have your main output level turned all the way down before you blow anyone's faces off. Same thing here applies for the sub out. However, this time you would press sub output, output level, and you would adjust the level from there. The sub outputs are the XLR outputs on the back of the unit. Now this has both minus 10 and the plus four, but also a total output level. Now I've just got it there sitting at a happy 50, and that seems to be good for me. Thanks for watching, stay tuned. See you next time.